All right, we are back with another video. Today we're gonna be figuring out figuring out why that battery light. I don't know if the camera's picking it up or not. It's on. It's only on during like when the car is sitting like this, and if I give it a little rev like that or so, maybe a little bit higher, it goes completely off like that. And then once it starts sitting again, it comes back on. So something's wrong with the charging system somewhere. So I'm gonna disconnect the alternator plug it back in stuff like that see if like see if it would work because um the alternator is not completely bad because the battery goes dead but it's the car still running really and that's a brand new battery just replaced it yesterday the good old turn it off and turn it back on trick so what had happened was my car completely died on me last night or it didn't die but the traction control turned off the abs light came on all my electronics in the car pretty much turned off so i turned the car off <sighs> went to start it again didn't start luckily i was already home so i just wanted to see if it was gonna start back start back up I'm gonna unplug the negative terminal so i don't shock the hell out of myself yeah but luckily i was already home so that's the only reason why i tested that Because I originally I thought it was just a battery. I thought it was just a battery because when it like when it went dead, pretty much the car stayed running. And I had a alternate. Are they riding pit bikes? They're riding pit bikes. That looks fun. I should pull mine out of the garage. <laughs> but I originally got this one replaced maybe I think a year and a half ago. So I didn't think that was the issue. But I guess after running with a bad battery not realizing it i'm pretty sure it just did something to the regulator inside the uh alternator so <sighs> we're gonna try it unplug it and see never know till you try stuff i can never get these out out it hurt Urgh. dude i can never get these out there we go uh, this may be a 10. But yeah, replacing, like, I'm not really, like, worried about an alternator. This is, like, maybe one of the easiest things to change on a car. Besides the battery. <laughs> I also need to check the fuse and make sure, um, like, one of the fuses didn't blow. Because I still don't want to believe that an alternator went out this fast. But I know these alternators are really crappy. All right, so we got that off. I should have, I forgot how to get this off. Let me get a flathead and see if that worked. Oh, sorry, I want to unlock it, Never mind. There we go. Okay, so I'm just gonna let that sit for a little bit. I'm gonna check the fuses to see, um, maybe it could be a fuse that's blown that's not like recharging a battery. Cause this word is like, it doesn't, like I've had this issue before, but it was the alternator and the battery died fairly quickly. This, it, it like, it charges itself at certain times and then at the times it just doesn't charge itself so i mean it could just be a faulty alternator it only acts up like this when it's cold is what i noticed dude this is <laughs> this is more, much more of a journey than a goddamn pulling off the goddamn alternator i pull off the alternator in like two minutes maybe less than that it's literally more than halfway done it's got to unbolt this unbolt this unbolt that loosen that tensioner right there and then pop off put the new one on I don't even have no one yet, but I'm gonna go buy it. Pretty sure this one is still under warranty since it's only been a year and a half. All right, so it's actually 43, okay. Now where the heck is 43 at? 43 was just on here, I saw it. Okay, um, 
couple uh, booms right there. Let me get pliers or something to get that out with. Because I cannot get that out with my fingers. I've tried so many times in the previous years to get the freaking fuse out with my fingers. Never works. I know I have needle nose in here somewhere. Dude, I know I have needle nose in here. What the hell is this? Who the hell is this for? I don't remember buying this. Alright, so... Hmm. Yo, oh, wow, right in my face. Okay. I'm hoping this is blown. Because if so, this is the cheapest fix ever. Is it, is it, is it, is it, is it? Nope. Not blown. Okay. Back to the drawing board. I forgot which other one I need to check to see. Let me look at the diagram and see. Ooh, motorcycle. I love motorcycles. Don't we all love motorcycles? They're amazing. Stress relieving machines. Okay, guess that's the only thing. Alright, let's bolt everything back up. Let's see, maybe if that fix the problem maybe like when the wires were loose or something if that or just the alternator is just bad that's a lot of scoring right there that's not what you want to see I need to take a shroud off to see it looks like a lot of scoring on that freaking alternator which is uh, not typical for an alternator <laughs> See, I have a 15, but I don't think it's going to fit over that, um, fit over the, ooh, the shroud is in the way. No, wait, the shroud is not in the way. I just need a, I thought it was a 15, no. Could be a 16. Hmm. That's too big. Let me try this one, because there's no way. I swear it's a 15. Yeah, it is a 15. Okay. Hercules himself bolt that down? Jeez. I don't think I have a socket long enough to just break that off either. Ugh. Freak. And I really don't feel like buying sockets. Yeah, this is not long enough at all. This is just a short stubby one. Yep. I mean, I can go buy one. I mean, they're not that expensive, but this is the fact that I don't want to go buy one. Alright, let's just bolt this back up and see what happens. Hopefully, like maybe unplugging it. Nope, probably not at all, really. But it doesn't hurt to try. Hopefully I'm recording too. Let me see if I'm recording. Let's get everything bolted back up and I'm gonna talk to you guys afterwards. Or probably I'll probably be talking throughout this entire thing. It's like when the, like, the battery voltage gets low, this car runs really funky and I don't want to drive it like that because I don't want to mess anything up. The battery light hasn't come back on yet. It's probably going to come on soon. Because the battery still isn't, isn't charged unless that literally fixed the problem. Maybe it did. Unless I just tricked the car in thinking that I put a new alternator on by disconnecting everything. I don't know. Let's, I'm going to give it a little test drive in the area. Because if I break down, then I just easily just get back home. 
What the fuck was that? Somebody's whistling like really loud. Maybe that actually fixed my car. Oh no, let's give it a little go and see. Oops, see about first, kids. Safety first. I think I literally fixed my car with just by trying to test and see what's wrong with it. Even though I'm more than likely going to buy a new alternator soon anyway, just to uh, prevent that from happening when I'm all the way out away from home. Okay, so the battery light hasn't come back on at all. And usually, like, after starting up, after like maybe three or so seconds it'll pop on and once I start driving it'll go off until like I'm at a stop or I just start decelerating now, or, or I'm no longer giving the gas is a better way of putting it and it hasn't come back on yet so Ooh, that left my trunk I don't know we'll find out some stuff fly, start flying up <laughs> If I just let it sit, will it come back on? Yep. Alternator. Okay. Well, that proves that it's the alternator. <laughs> alternator it is. Well, you guys saw it here. <laughs> alternator. Because at first it would just sit. And not, um die it would literally just sit there and just run 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 and not die at all but this is literally the first time that it just died so that lets me know like i like i know what the problem is now so i just got to change the alternator probably do that either in the next video or maybe cut this video up and put it in this video as well i'm not sure what i'm going to do but it's a real simple fix Sucks I gotta fix it again after a year and a half, so hopefully it's still in the warranty and I don't really have to come out of pocket for anything like that. So yeah, I'll let you guys know how this goes. You either see me with this car or your next video, you see me with a new car. That'll, that'll let you know how it goes. <laughs> so I'll get you guys in the next video. Peace out.